Hi. While I was browsing through one of the videos by YouTube creators, I watched this specific video where I liked a specific effect. Take a look at this. There is a video that is playing which has been cut around the person who is talking and then there are certain elements that are added and some gifs that are added. So it gives a very interesting effect. Can you see here? It's a very beautiful effect and I wondered if it is possible to create this effect in PowerPoint. So I picked this video from pixabay.com. I really liked the way this fellow was giving a speech and I created a sample slide that looked like this. Can you see here? I've just isolated that guy and I've added some GIF to add some kind of pizzas to the slide and I also added some text. Now what this does is it allows you to focus on just the subject while cutting out all the other elements on the video and that gives you a lot of creative freedom. For example, you can pick up a video on butterfly like this and you can have just this portion shown on your slide to explain about butterflies. Now watch this. I just cropped that area and I used the remaining space to show my information on my slide. It is pretty much like using a moving clip art on your slide and it will definitely attract the viewer's attention. So let us learn how to create this wonderful technique from scratch. But before that, I am Ram Gopal from presentationprocess.com, the creator of comprehensive all-in-one PowerPoint bundle, a collection of more than 4,500 premium animated PowerPoint templates that help you create beautiful and engaging presentations in minutes. The first step is to insert a video onto your slide. The key thing here to note is the subject needs to have minimal movement so you are able to isolate around the subject. For example, in this video, I wanted to focus the viewer's attention on just this image of the boy and didn't want the distraction from other areas of the video. So I'm going to first zoom out so it is much easier for me to draw the area that I want. I can draw using one of the two tools. When I go to lines in Auto Shapes Gallery, I have the option to use this one called as Curve Tool and the other one called as Freeform Scribble. Freeform Scribble gives you a more organic look where the edges would be rough, whereas Curve gives you a much cleaner cut. Let me first show you the organic look here from Freeform Scribble. So I let me click on that. You can see that I have a cursor that now turns into a wax crayon kind of an icon. Now remember where you are starting and this is the point where I'm starting outside the slide area and then I'm going to just draw a rough area around it. Remember there is a slight bit of movement of this boy and therefore I'm going to allow for some space around this and then I go to the starting point and then when I leave my cursor I have this shape created. The next step is First click on the video and this is a very important thing, remember the order. First click on the video, hold the shift button down and then click on the shape that you just drew and then go to merge shapes and this is something that you should have put in your quick access toolbar prior to creating this effect. In my earlier video for which I am going to give you the link here in the iCard, I have shown you how to insert this merge shapes tool onto your quick access toolbar, it's a very very simple thing. Just watch that video and once you have this available on your quick access toolbar, you click here and then go to intersect. So we have selected the video and then the shape and we said intersect. Now there are a couple of things that I'm going to do. First is let me go to playback and say this needs to start automatically. So as soon as I go to that slide, I would be able to see this video playing. When I go to slideshow, you can see that the video is playing automatically. Now there are certain portions where this boy is coming out of the frame. So I'm going to just take one small portion of this entire video instead of taking the whole clip. So how do I edit this? Very simple. You select this once again, go to playback and here you have the option to trim video. So you click on that and that gives you this window. I'm going to trim and you can see that as I move this green handle to the right, I can see the portions where the person is going out of the frame. I don't want all these areas. So now I go a little further. Now this is the place from where the guy is stable there in the frame. So I'm going to trim away this portion from the video and I say, okay, that's it. Now the video is trimmed. 
Now, when I go to slideshow, you can notice that the part where the boy was going away from the frame is edited out and we have just the portion that we want in the frame. Now, once we have this available, I now have the freedom to have it in the size I want. For example, I can hold the shift button down, click and drag from the corner and I can have it in a smaller size. And if I want to add some border to this, I can do so. I can go to video format, choose video border and choose this orange color to indicate some kind of fire in speech. I can go to video border again and increase the weight to somewhere around six points. And just to add that element of fire in the speech, I'm going to add a GIF. Let me go to pixabay.com once again. Very few people are aware that it is possible for you to search for GIFs inside Pixabay. So I searched for GIFs as the option and I searched for fire and I could find just the option I wanted here. So I downloaded that and I placed that particular GIF behind this image. Now let me stick that image, right click and send this to back. Now there is fire in the speech and just to highlight the fire, I'm going to make the background darker. So let us go to format background and choose a darker color for the background. Now this fire is very clearly visible. I can add some caption and when I go to slideshow, you would notice that there is this beautiful clip of this boy and we have this caption to explain what he's doing. It's a very interesting thing. Now let me show you how to use the other tool which is the curve tool to cut the portion that we want from a video. This time let us pick up this video from pixabay.com on butterflies. So this is one nice butterfly and you can see that the movement is pretty restricted to just one small portion. So I can very nicely use this portion alone and not have all the other areas from the video. Let me paste the video onto my slide. Then let me draw around this. So go to auto shapes gallery from lines. Let us pick up this curve tool and you click on the portion that you want to select and then keep clicking around the area. So you can see that I'm not really being very specific here and I'm leaving some space for the wings to flap around. And then we have this outline drawn fairly loosely. And when I come to the starting point of this, I would be able to have the shape shown. Now, in this case, I'm struggling to find the starting point. So what I do is I just click somewhere, double click in fact, and then I right click on the shape, go to edit points. And once again, I right click on this and say close path. Now this is a shape. Let me go here and fill it with some color. It doesn't really matter. Then you select the video first, hold the shift button down and then select this organic shape and then go to merge shapes and say shape intersect. Now we have this nice looking shape which has video inside it. So let me hold the shift button down and I can even resize this. I can add the explanation like this and then I can just right click and send this to back. Then put this in the middle by going here and say middle and maybe I can extend this slightly like this. And then when I go to slideshow, you can see how the video adds to the explanation that I have on the slide. In the meantime, do you want to learn some simple and creative PowerPoint ideas you can use in your next presentation? Then click on the link here to join our five day free email course called 25 creative PowerPoint ideas. These are simple, quick and useful PowerPoint ideas I have not shared elsewhere. So go ahead, click on the link, Join the course and I will see you inside.